Hey, good afternoon and welcome back to day five of the 60th Adelaide Masters brought to you live from the Adelaide Bowling Club. Um, we are down to the final two. The Masters final. Gary Kelly, the Irishman from Warilla versus Mitchie Sidebottom from Tally Garupna in country Victoria. Uh, sure to be a phenomenal final to finish off what's been a brilliant Adelaide Masters. My name is Reese Taylor. Great to be with you again. And next to me, um, a number one seed after qualifying after day three. And um, one of the good guys of our sport, Taran Points, Harley McDonald. Harley, good afternoon. Reese, how are you? Welcome. Thank you for joining me. Pleasure. Uh, what a final we've got. Yeah, it's going to be a cracking game. Um, look, yeah, on paper, you'd probably have to favour Gary here. Um, but Mitch, you know, he's, uh, he's no slouch. He's been playing phenomenal and, um, yeah, no doubt has to be respected in this matchup. So we saw some semi-finals this morning. We saw, we saw um, Mitch um, take on uh, Mark Armstrong from... Um, from Pialba um, and and 25 13 in the end but probably the score didn't really indicate what the game was like yeah. um, I was talking to Mitch before the game and, and he, he felt it was probably closer to a 25 20 win which is probably pretty fair yeah. and then and then that live stream game you know which yeah. I know you watched a fair bit of that that yeah. back end and uh, for GK to to get the win over Corey um, a phenomenal game of bowls. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Um, obviously, oh, I've come probably midway through it. Um, and, yeah, Corey was behind and obviously scratched his way back into it and hit the lead and then, yeah, just went tiff tat and a couple of big bowls from Gary towards the end got him over. We spoke we spoke earlier in the semis about um, potentially um, who would settle first and, you know, what what the scores would be early and I was talking to Mitch before, and he, he said his three games yesterday, he was 0-6 down, 0-5 down, 0-7, and probably chasing his tail a bit. Um, this morning, out of the blocks, 8-0, um, so massive change. Yeah. Um, you, you would think that his main focus for this final was going to be probably to get the first couple of ends, yeah. um, just to settle some nerves. Yeah. He's nervous. I've spoken to him. He's nervous. Yeah, I, he I love is. it about him. He's, yeah. he's intense. It's great. Yeah. And you've you got to be. Like, you're playing against a, a world bowls gold medalist. Yeah. So, but his his week has been phenomenal. Yeah. I, I guarantee you, he's going to put up a hell of a fight. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. That's, I think, um, yeah, Gary has to actually, like, you know, respect him here because he's playing well. He got through to the final. Like, yeah. You're not making it if you're not playing good. So agreed, mate. Agreed. So Mitch's what I saw early on, um, sort of off camera, was Mitch's first two bowls against Mark Armstrong early were really on top. Mm -hmm. Now I think if he does that, then Gaz is going to probably pull out the whack early. So yeah. it's going to be sort of who does what. I, yeah. I think if Gaz's forehand whack is on early, could be in for a long game. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> could right. Could be in for a long game, <laughs> but um, Mitch is going to put the pressure on. Yeah, and, definitely. And and. Um, it all starts now. It is. It all, it all. Have you got a tip? Oh, look, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna lean towards uh, Gary, but I reckon it'll be a I reckon it'll be a close game, uh, twenty five eighteen. Okay, like yeah. it. All right. So, for the viewers at home, get comfy. We hope you're enjoying the action so far. Sitting at the club, settle in. We are away in the Adelaide Masters sixtieth. Adelaide Masters final. Which side bottom leads us off? Yeah, as you said, he'd probably want to snag a couple of ends early, just uh, settle in, yep. get on the board. Yeah, and that's a good opener. And of course, Gary was on the live stream rink this morning, but we have moved the pegs over probably a full half a rink, so yeah. not a real advantage, no. I wouldn't think. No, I don't think so. As the boys have done all week too, Scotty's given the Greens a quick roll before the the final. So, yeah, yeah I reckon it'll be. I reckon it, yeah, quicken up a fraction. I reckon. Yeah, this morning early was a bit of dew around, bit of bit overcast. It's still overcast now. We do expect some rain this afternoon later, but not during the game, which is great. 
Yeah, the boys are. They don't want. They don't want to get wet. I'm sure. No. Especially after the weather the last you know, three days. You've been pretty spoilt, you blokes, haven't you? Yeah, it's been, it's been <laughs> phenomenal. <laughs> what about you, Reese? Who uh, who are you tipping? Yeah, I, I love the underdog. Yeah. So I must admit, I'm 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 rooting pretty hard for for Midge. Yeah. I watched his game yesterday against Tyson. He was unbelievable. Just yep. unflappable the whole game. Yeah. The, the the head says that that the quality of someone like Gary Kelly um, uh, is probably favourite, mm -hmm. but you, you don't beat someone like Lee Schreiner in a Vic Open. So so 2017 Vic Open um, winner Mitchie yeah, right. beat Lee Schreiner. So you don't win those games of bowls without being a good player. Yeah, that's so, right. So I'm really keen to see how long this game can go. That's <laughs> the big part. <laughs> I love 25-24. Yeah, that'd be a nice finish, wouldn't it? Indeed. The um, Yeah, Mitch, I've noticed the same. Like, his temperament, um, when he plays, he just, nothing phases him, like yesterday in the live stream game. Yep. You no, know, he just got on with it. Things weren't going his way. He just kept grinding and grinding. And Indeed. Yeah. Indeed. So Mitch is holding one. Gary's just drawn second wood, so he's not looking to change a great deal, Mitch, but potentially just stick on that forehand and... Beat Gary's last bowl, get Jack around the corner, get out of the way if he can. Looks to be in a pretty good track. A little touch off his own there. Mm. Come on, okay. Go for one. one to Mitch, side bottom. Kaz looking to turn his own bowl in the back end? Yeah. Yeah, he'd be looking to turn, turn his or get to Mitch's. Look, if, uh, if I'm Mitch, this is a good start. I'd be happy with that. Absolutely. Oh, what's that done? I think he got all the way back. <laughs> is, that, is that falling back? No, I don't think so. I tried hard, though. But yeah, if I, yeah, as I was saying, if I'm Mitch, I'm happy with that start. It's a, you know, it's the best result. First end. Yep. One shot to uh, Mitch side bottom. We are the first to 25 as we have been all um, all week as well. So um, send your comments through on the live stream. Jump on the uh, Space Quake Sports uh, YouTube channel as well. Um, Leave the question about where's Mitch from. I uh, hope I pronounced it right. Tally Garupna, um, Country Victoria. So around the Shepparton and uh, Marupna area. Yeah, right. um, local boy. Gun footballer. Heard that actually. Six foot six, you got to be <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> a big he's ruckman. A, he's a big boy, isn't he? <laughs> and he gets the ball away so good. For he does. He so does. Tall. Yep. Second year at the Masters for for Mitch, and um, well, not much more you can ask for than, than making a final in your yeah. second year. So, and a fantastic start as well. The, um, I was having a conversation with uh, Mitch, and he's, he's sticking around for the long haul. He's uh, going to gather round next well, week. Fantastic. So Absolutely. You might see him floating around here a bit longer. I was saying to uh, Benny Twist this morning that it's been a couple of big weekends for Adelaide. The Adelaide Masters in uh, this weekend and then gather around next weekend. So yeah. I don't know what's bigger. Probably gather around a little bit. Yeah. but um, Just, I reckon. The Adelaide Masters has been a fantastic event. So day five today, 104 players started the event. We're down to four now. Sorry, down to two now. Got to help you guys, doesn't it, when the markers are so clear and concise with their yeah. information? Definitely. Yep. Definitely, and um, yeah, all all the markers um, that I've had uh, during my games, they've all been exceptional. Yep. 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 Cannot run these events without the volunteers. No, definitely not. Uh, they've done a fantastic job, and for most of them now, they can sit back and relax and enjoy this final. The hard work's done. Yep. All the work's been done on the on the green. How did they? Um, like the marker for the final, how do they do that here? They just pick it out of a hat, or yeah. Look, I don't know. Sandy Wallace is in charge of all our uh, okay. all our markers, yeah. um, and she's done a brilliant job too. Yeah. Um, 
we're, we're lucky to have so many high quality individuals um, and ITOs that are part of our club but also just part of Bowles SA as well that you know put their hand up and want to be a part of it but uh, today's markers um, Robin and Carlos this morning and then um, the great man Gary Benvenisti as we watch Gary Kelly forehand big weight a good result but yeah. Mitch's bowl's just gone through with him but he's given himself more room so he'd be happy with that is it a touch in the drink? No, I don't think so. No, okay. So Mitch holding one and maybe a second. Yeah, I think I'm on two. But probably five feet to draw. Yeah. Three feet. Four feet. But they're um that like that's what you were talking about. Um the first end, like if he's Forehand whack. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, yep. It'll keep him in the game a long way if Mitch is doing that. All Mitch can do is just keep putting the pressure on. That's the most important bit. That's right. So he's on a good track, but I think he's just shy of his weight a little bit. So he, I said five feet. I, I was being very generous. I reckon he's probably only got a two and a half, three feet to draw now. So Gaz is probably a couple down. Needs to really move quick. Okay, so we said it before, we'll say it again. If you wanted to be Mitch Sidebottom, you want to start, and he's got the first two ends, so brilliant start. But not only that, he's like the first end, he didn't nail it, but that end, he nailed it yep. twice. And yep, bang, bang. Yeah, yep. That's, uh, yeah, just get in the groove, he'd be thinking to himself. A couple of comments that the YouTube channel's not working yet. I'm not too sure if that's correct or not, but we'll just ask the Spacequake guys to have a look at that. So just stand by, but um, the broadcast is coming to you from the Adelaide Bowling Club Facebook page and also the Spacequake Sport YouTube channel. So we thank, we thank Spacequake for their production. Uh, the thumbs up is the YouTube channel is definitely working. So uh, just search again, search for Spacequake Sport uh, and find the live link for the Adelaide Masters final. Just the one. One to Mitchy side bottom. So a couple will get him going. Great start. What's your tactic against a guy like Gary Kelly? If you're Mitch side bottom, what are you doing? Harley? Yeah, I think um, I think when you play against anyone that has a, a big drive on them, I think if you can just find the centre line, um, like Mitch did, that end there, mm. um, that's, a, that's probably the the main focus really yep. just try and find the center line and yep. you don't want to build um too big a heads really take some angles out of it but obviously it's not that easy <laughs> and these guys you know when they get to that level they can just rip bowls off yep clean and yeah, stuff indeed. like that indeed we were saying this morning that we really really for the last four days haven't had any breeze at all at adelaide mm. um today's the first day there's a bit of a bit of a wind around and um, just notice with Mitch's first bowl then that um, just lacking a couple of feet of weight just pushing up into that head breeze heading towards or heading away from the club so different conditions today yeah yeah definitely yep. Yep. Yeah, it's been perfect yep. conditions and you know just these boys will be thinking oh I wish it wasn't windy but yeah exactly you know, it is what yeah it is and yep got to adapt and we're also about seven or eight degrees cooler, so they've they've battled through thirty-one degrees yesterday, thirty-two yeah. yesterday. Great shot by Mitch. Great up. Probably twenty-three, twenty-four right now with that breeze. So it's a good ball here. Tracks really good. Hold on. Thank you all for your comments on our Facebook uh, stream as well. Um, Paul Butler suggesting there's a future in uh, commentary for, for you, Harley. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. And a lot of love for Mitch as well. Um, proven, proven tournament player and 
Goes a long way. Final 16 in the Aussie Open singles last year as well. Mm -hmm. Lost to the eventual runner-up. Uh, he's no slouch. Gaz looks to be on a high line. Yeah, he just poked that one in a bit far there. What's he doing here? Sticking to the back end, do you think? Harley getting through that bowl of Gaz's? Yeah, I think he'd just be trying to, like, yeah, get to that or get to his own or just slip past if you're high. Yep. would probably be the right... probably what I'd be trying to do. But I think it's important that if he misses this, he's got to miss past. Yep. So at least playing three feet. Yeah, like you're just giving your bowl a chance. Yep. If you happen to get back to the to the blue one, happy days. I'm just trying to draw it here. And he has. Trying hard. <coughs> Maybe a bowl short. Looks only one from here, yeah. so Gary's sort of confirming that our angle looks about right. Gaz will be looking to get the jack on the move surely now. Yeah, definitely. Yep. Attacking shot. Stalking it. it. Needs to get a clear run past the front. Just didn't need that that half a bowl, did he? No, nah, he's probably just a bowl tie there. But yeah. Probably a bit of a get out of jail there for Mitch because it was all bad news if the Jack yeah, went back Yeah, well, Jack there. was three. Mm. Um, so one more to Mitch side bottom. So the, the dream start with, with three shots in a row. He played good line there as well. Yeah, Absolutely. You yeah, it. you did. Yep, yep. Pretty much full length, mate. Yeah, this is this is the longest one so far. It's good to see plenty of people here in the crowd watching on. Oh, it's been great. Yeah, you know, um, we 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 cracked close to seven hundred on the on the live stream this morning as well but oh, um, the crowd here has been fantastic they've been really good all, all week um, but why wouldn't you when you can see you know Australia's best uh, in action yeah. it's just sneaking up there we That's go yep. love that yep. <coughs> Some nice cold Cooper's Australian lager on tap inside as well so now looking to come down. Beers are cold and and they're good. They are good. Not a beer drinker. There's a Gomisal Shiraz or a Chain of Ponds. Sad Blanc there as well. So choices are plentiful. We get to watch one of the most informed players in the world right now. He against informing against. One of the the silent assassins of the sport. <laughs> Gaz looking just to repeat his last bowl, find potentially a foot or just sneak up on it. Couple there. First rule, probably a bit of pressure on Mitch so far. Yeah. But this is probably the first like time that Gary's do like dominated the head Absolutely. so far. Just a miss there, ball tied. How's he going here? Don't know if he's up. All right, so Mitch stay, do you think, and go again, Harley? Um, Look, he, he's got a good chance to get the both the bowls out. That's the angle there that we're looking at. Looks juicy. He's asking if he's got two thirds, so gives him the option. I think he will go again. Yeah. Forehand through the two shot bowls. Big wind up. Forehand with weight. He's pulled it. Doesn't like it. with a bit of a free kick to 
to square things back up again now. Doesn't need to change a great deal from his first couple. And these are always important, uh, the free kicks. And yeah, they are, mate. And Absolutely. Especially, um, especially when you're uh, early on in the game, if you can grab, grab a couple. Yep. I don't think he counted with that one. Yeah, at the end of the game, you look at you know those results that are 25-23, and you go, if only I'd done the free kick there and the free kick there. Yeah. So right. they are so critical. You're right. So two to Gary Kelly. So 3-2 to Mitch Sidebottom early. Um, what's Gary's tactic now? What Look, plays to his strength? Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't go like long again after his first two bowls. But maybe heading this direction, he'd favour the shorter length. Yep. A lot of commentary on the stream too about the fact that not only are they good players, both these lads, but also good, good blokes as well. Yes. Um, I was having a real good chat. I mean, I've spoken to Gary many times, but speaking to Mitch earlier and uh, <laughs> just a real humble sort of guy. Yeah, he and, is. And just a good lad to be around. So, Yeah, I was having a chat with him before the game and he was like, oh, I just don't want to make myself, like, embarrass myself, he said. I was like, mate, there's no chance no. of that happening. You've made it this far. He's here. Exactly yeah. right. Adelaide Masters final. Yeah. He's going to be a new champion this year. So whatever happens... Brilliant result for both. Mitch just uh, it's a good, 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 good draw shot. Oh, it's a good line there, just over. Yeah, that... Um, it was a good, good turn late, wasn't it? That mm. was yeah, that was really good. That was that Adelaide swing that year. We were talking about yesterday. <laughs> mm. The breeze has changed a bit or not because it wasn't really turning that much this morning unless the greens freed up slightly. Yeah, I reckon it has. Mitch side bottom. Another good ball. One, one to look, Gary says. Good point too. Got to give a shout out to, to Corey Wedlock and also Mark Armstrong as our losing semi-finalist this yeah. morning um, to to get through to the last day. It's a pretty fair achievement and Corey's love of this event is um, is second to none. Yeah, he's so, been, and he's been very successful. Here, uh, hasn't he? Three wins and two semi-final losses. One 25-24 and one 25-23. So you're not far off playing in five finals. Yeah. <laughs> He's class. They're, they're both class players, yeah, Mark and Corey. Yep, indeed. So Mitch would love a piece of the jack right now, wouldn't he? Yeah. Just a little bit. He's got it. Here we go. Okay. Confident shot there. You're going to see some weight in the forehand from Gaz, do you think, Harley? Oh, I, think we'll, I think we'll see something, yeah. I just don't know. Yeah, he's going. Okay. okay. So looking for... Just in there. One of the bowls to get them both, or the jack. He's got his own one in the front. Mm. Okay. Yeah, that gripped and turned, didn't it? It did. It did. I wasn't sure if he was going to play that big, because if he was high, could have just got that plant and his bowl straight out. Yep. But, um, yeah, obviously backing himself, which he does. Mitch just needs to be a little bit careful here, and while his line's pretty conservative, so yeah, that's a safe, that's a safe bowl. Very smart thinking there. <laughs> <laughs> that's a safe bowl. <laughs> two, we believe, to Mitch's side bottom, so we are five-two. It's a great start. Yeah, he'd be uh, he'd be really happy with himself, Mitch. Yep, right great. now, great. He's uh, he's only had that one loose end, which was the last. And go in this direction. Yep. Um, but he's he's thrown the same length he did that that end. So big four one. Big four one. We were talking before about Gomez for wines and having a bottle of Shiraz behind the bar for us, Harley. Um, a great partner of our club and also this event, um, Barossa Valley, 25 minutes north of my place. Oh. It's very scary. You frequent it? It's that close. <laughs> <laughs> 
So my wife and I take turns of who's driving. Yeah, yeah. of course. Toss a coin. Yeah. <laughs> Got a two-headed coin. <laughs> <laughs> so Br- brilliant you do drive. all the driving. Sorry? You do all the driving. Yeah, no, I guarantee you that's <laughs> not going to happen. <laughs> Beautiful drop. Um, yeah, great, great partner of our club. So Mitch just two or three, two or three feet through, and um, Gaz just sneaking inside. So five two at the moment. Yeah. Sort of what happened the last thing coming here. Like Mitch's first bowl was a bit. Um, what happened there? I missed I, that. I've got no idea. Mm. Oh, I think the bowl fell over. Did it? As, as ah, the right, okay. bowl fell over, I said it was approaching. I'll try to replay that. I wasn't <laughs> even watching. I wasn't even concentrating one bit. <laughs> the, um, I was too busy sipping a Cooper's Mild. <laughs> <laughs> the, um, yeah, Mitch is um, this length, this direction. He, he hasn't opened up as good as he, ha- as he has been. Yeah, Gary's just gone bang, bang. Yeah, yep. two ends in a row. Here we go. We're watching here. So, oh, I can't. It's just fallen over now. Yeah, yeah right. And just missed it. Oof. <laughs> Need to fall twice. Yeah. <laughs> All right, he's going it. Did he learn from the last time he played this shot? It's his third forehand whack coming this way already. He's wide. Ooh. Okay. Got back. What Killed it. Was that? Yep. We'll take that. We'll take that. It's a good feeling to get the first hit out the way mm. early, you know, especially after his first couple that probably weren't up yeah. to his standard. Yeah, he wasn't impressed with the last effort he had when, no. he, when he pulled the no. tight, so no. he made sure he gave that one yeah. <laughs> plenty more grass. Okay. I, wonder, I wonder if he's going to throw the same length. This will be interesting. So he's last end going this way, same length? Yeah, the L- last lost, two. lost the end? Yep. And then... Gary was all over it then, so yeah, he killed it. So, are you, are you changing the length that that's due to right now? Yeah, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be attempting that yep. again. I don't think. Yep. Okay, he's, and he, you're right. He's, yeah. a, he's a lot shorter than what he was. Yeah. Okay. So he's probably just taking it into account, like get some rhythm, get the line. Yeah. Go back to what you, what got you a successful start. Yep. When you go into a game with a game plan, surely, but but, geez, things change so quickly, don't oh, they? Oh, mate, yeah, you got to have more than one plan and plan A through to Z. Yeah, yep. And sometimes none of them work. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but that's worked. Yeah. So that's what he wasn't doing with the long ends. Yeah, that's right. So he's just got back and. Yep. Gary thinking right now. Yeah, I think Gary would just be trying to build a good head, I reckon. Just score the end and and uh, go from there. Yeah, pretty close here, Played Harley. A That's a good shot. That's a great shot. Well played. Appreciation from a good crowd. So Mitchie's switching over here. Good weight. It looks back. to be pretty close. He's trying very hard. He's played a bomb. Look at that. All the way back. Yeah, it falls over. Very close to shot. Great shot. Very close to shot. Looks to be shot from here from our angle. Yep. Okay. Well. Yeah, so I think that last one is the shot. Gaz just staying where he was. Mm. Yeah, good, good confident draw shot, I reckon. On that high line coming this way again, so looking for that turn. Is he there? Not there. Okay. He had the line for it, mm. lacked the weight. Mm. That backhand could be a little bit, um, a little bit cluttered now. Mm. Uh, Mitch is playing it, so he must see something he likes.
good line again. I guess Gaz will be looking for a pretty similar shot, will he? Is he switching to the yeah, forehand? switching, yeah. Probably just trying to lay, bolt, lay his bowl down. Dead weight, he might be able to get back to the green one. He's trying very he's hard. He's trying very hard. This is a great shot. That's a great yeah, that's shot. A good shot. Yeah, yep, well played. Just enough. Mm. Big turn in hand. That's all. Yeah, big hand. sweep there, wasn't it? Yep. Yep. All right. So what's Mitch got now? Up under can. the front blue. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Trying to land a bowl, try the jack. Just yeah, well, jack move it's good. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Just watching it. Big strides. Yeah. He likes this. He does. He's willing it. Willing it to Just run to go on. A bit harder. Mm, got a little rub. Wiggled up. May have got second. Yeah, yeah I think so. Yep. So Gaz just got to stick to the forehand. Yeah, just a flat draw. Yep. Just a flat draw here for Gaz. Another one of those free kicks. Well, this is obviously a bit harder. It needs to come hard now. He's trying. He's trying hard. He's willing it on. He's trying. Oh, that's, oh, that's, oh, that's close. It's a great effort. It's a good local round, I think. It's definitely one to Gary. It's Mitch got one to come. No, no he's, he's just, just getting the map. Yeah, he's okay. getting the map. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so one to Gary Kelly. So the five to three... What does the big Irishman do now, Harley? Yeah, well, he, he sort of played that shortish length uh, and he dropped the two, so. Mm, he's looking, he's looking. He might try and get the jack rod to the tee, maybe. You can see him ticking over there. Mm. You can see him thinking. Yeah, he, doesn't know, <laughs> he doesn't know what he wants to do. He doesn't know what he wants to do here. Probably try and get it right to the tee. Just changing the angles a little bit, Matt up. Probably give himself six feet from the front line and yeah. get to the tee or just short of that. Short ends for Gaz always have that, that big weapon if he's in play, doesn't it? Definitely. So, yep. Definitely. Yep. And with the speed that he plays his runners, you know, he can easily kill it. Yeah, no, dramas. no marker is safe when Gary Kelly's forehand whack is online. Tracking. Good opener. Big man, long way to go down in it to deliver. <laughs> oh, I feel sorry for him because yeah. I'm so, I'm so short. <laughs> <laughs> I think you and I are both blessed with. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> well, not not blessed not with them um, with. That's the word, v vertical. Yeah. We're, but, um, yeah, we're both vertically challenged, yeah, that's the word. Yeah, but um, it's good for us when we play, I guess. Don't have to bend down so far. That's a, that's a great opener from Mitch. Gaz is watching it intently. He wants it to come down a bit. Yeah, he's just, just a couple of feet. If that, not even that, really. Uh, he'll be happy with that. Mitch would just be trying to match that last one, I reckon. Is he going to hold? Slip by. But again, in a good home. Cans okay. with weight. Yeah. Looking for the jack. Ball. Got his own. But he got Mitch's as well.
Mitch wouldn't want to fatten his head right now, would he? No, it's one of those tricky ones because you obviously want to get another bowl close, but you don't want to sit it right next to it. But it's just all you think to yourself, just try and nail the line. It's in the area. That's a really good shot. Yeah, that's a good shot. But no just real massive target. No. Good. Gary, what's he got? Looking at it. Hunting Jack. Willing it to turn. Did he kill? Is that? Yep, that's it's gone. It's okay. Dead end number two. Yep. Might keep track of these dead ends. <laughs> yeah, I reckon there's going to be a few. Especially if uh, Mitch keeps forcing Gary yeah, to exactly. play weight. Exactly. Yep. yep. I think less than 10. Over unders. Over unders. Over unders. Yeah. 10, is it? <laughs> I'll give you 10.5. So over <laughs> under 10.5. Uh, <laughs> I'll go. Uh, it's two already, and one. it's been yeah. only one of Mitch's and one of Gary's. Yeah, so. I'm going to go over. Okay. I'm going to go over. So right Because I think if. Um, if Mitch can keep piling on the pressure like he is, well, it's gonna, we're going to see a lot more yep. action from the big man. A big shout out to our sponsors. Um, we know Coopers and Gummersel Wines, along with Chain of Ponds. But we also want to thank CFS Bowls Wear as well. And a great segue into the advert. So to Graham and the team, thank them for their support. Uh, they are number one when it comes to complete custom redesign and even just to total reshape or, or send them your current design and go can you make us some shirts or some shorts um, some caps, some hoodies um, if you're an individual looking for you know, the new Asics bowl shoes or a new bag, aero bag hence a light bag, whatever you want give them a call love their support how good do the Adelaide hoodies look? yeah they look good now they they? Oh, here we go. I'll let you go now. I'll give you one more end, Harley, and then we'll then we'll call in uh, call in the big guns. So, right <laughs> so Gaz has just he stretched it out. Yeah, he was thinking earlier, wasn't he? He was like, "What, what are we playing?" And, and as we said, Mitch has been trying the long ends, didn't work, went a bit short. Gaz probably went a bit shorter last time, and Mitch was all over it. So just. A boxing match. We're into the round three, and no one's really swung a decent punch yet. So, oh, how's Gary going here? He's drawing a great shot. That's a brilliant shot. Well played, Gary Kelly. Sort of the same in the in the match this morning with, with Gary and Corey. It took a few ends, but once they found their groove, it was just like bang, 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 bang. So really looking forward to see what these next few ends brings. Mitch has played great weight to sit Gary's bowl and just missed on the outside. Yeah. Bowl high. Bowl high. But it's definitely been the short ends Mitch and then the longer ends Gary. Yep. At the moment. Yep. Indeed. Obviously both killed one each. Gary just lacking that weight into that head breeze. Mm. He won't be happy with that. Nope. Yeah, he's taking his hat off. Yep. He's war it's gone for a wander. <laughs> he's gone <laughs> for a wander. <laughs> <laughs> so Mitch doesn't need to change a great deal. No. Looks to be on a reasonable line if it holds his head. Is this going to tail off? Isn't it? Yeah, sure Mitch is. Jack. Has oh. tucked it away in a pretty horrible spot. Yeah, that doesn't. That, he wouldn't be happy with that. He would have rather just missed that completely, I reckon. This guy's got here. Lost his weight again. Yeah. Okay. He might go for a second wander off of that one, I think. Yep, definitely going to the right. <laughs> He's off the ring. So really not much to gain here for Mitch. I mean, can he... Will, will he attack two seconds? Can he peel the bowl off clean? Yeah. It's probably the only thing he's got, or just a really 
soft draw. I did try my best. Same weight as his last. Yep. Jeez. Looks a bit tight. Yeah. Oh, oh he wouldn't that do that, would he? That's pretty stiff. Yeah, he wouldn't be happy with that. No. So two to Gary Kelly, so five all. Um, it's it's a it's a good start by both, but we're just sorting each other out. Harley, I've got a special guest behind me. Yep. I'm going to thank you no once worries. again for your time, Pleasure, mate. Appreciate mate. your special thank comments you. and your, your support of the event. Um, we're going to we're going to let you go, and Easy. we're going to invite another fine gentleman into the to awesome. the commentary box. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Enjoy the watch. It's pretty rare to have this man on the uh, on the commentary. Usually, he's outside. Uh, Playing in the final, Corey Wedlock. Thanks for joining us, mate. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for having me. Um, first of all, mate, congratulations on this morning's game. I know you didn't get the result you wanted, but bloody hell, mate! Three three Masters titles and now two semi-final losses. You must love these Adelaide Greens. Yeah, no, I love coming here. Um, it's a great atmosphere. Um, yeah, and I've just always enjoyed it. Obviously, a little bit um, disappointed to lose to Gary, but. Um, no, he played. He played a great game, and there was a couple of bowls here and there that could, could have been different. But yeah, um, no, yep. it was a fantastic game, and that's what the crowd won, I suppose. Does it make it easier losing to a teammate? Yeah, I don't know. It's always hard playing your mates, I suppose. Yeah, and yep. It's normally a couple of funny results normally um, happen too in the game. It's not just a uh, a clean game, if you know what I mean. So it always seems to happen. But no, nah, credit to Gary and. Um, started a little bit slow here but he, he's just getting back into it now I suppose. Yeah what's your thoughts on what you've seen so far? Yeah Mitch has started really well I suppose I thought there might have been a little bit of nerve there but no he's settled into the game really nice so. He definitely had nerves I was speaking to him he was nervous yeah, as yeah. so he didn't show it though. Gaz has just gone bang with that one so you'd expect nerves but as we we're saying before like he's, he's a Vic Open champion uh, Mitch as well so from a few years ago um, made the final 16 of the Aussie Open last year so he He's had to play the big singles events. Yeah, you always see his name around deep in, in singles events Absolutely. around Australia. Absolutely, so. yep. So, Gaz has got a good one here, and Mitch has only just missed on the high side. Yeah, we're just looking to just pass here, I think. Just get to Mitch's last, or just pass. to be on a reasonable track. Has he got the weight, though? Just sure, Corey. I think. You know his game so well. Does he, does he look comfortable out there? Yeah, I thought with Scotty obviously rolling the green, um, I thought that it, maybe after about half an hour the, the roll would wear off a little bit and um, you'd find a little bit kinder heads, I suppose. Yep. Obviously, with a bit of wind around today and obviously... A little bit quicker was a little bit trickier, but mm. I think Gary's starting to settle in pretty nice on the draw here. We noticed the last few wins going away from the club. Do you think the wind is affecting things? It hasn't been any breeze the whole no, the whole event, so today's the first day. Um, I think it's it's not really it's just sudden gust. I think I think it's not a so it's just if it does come up, yeah, it's going to affect it a fair bit. But yep, yep. the weather's been unbelievable. You're pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> So Gaz has gone to the back end now, so is he potentially just covering that, that trail of the yeah, jack, do you I think? think? So, yeah, yep. just have to get past there. Yep. It's one in the look, I think. I don't know if we've got an indication from Gary yet about whether it's one or two, but Mitch has just got to stay there. Any movement of the jack is beneficial. It looks to be under. So Gaz hits the lead for the first time in the match. It's going to be a six or a seven start, so. It is two. Uh, seven five to Gary Kelly. It's the first time in front. Talk to us about your love of Adelaide, Corey, because your record's just second to none. Um, yeah, obviously really close with Scotty T and um, when he first got me down about five, six years ago. And um, yeah, I've just loved it ever since. The greens are always pretty pretty good, and the, the night life's pretty good, and just the people, the support. Yeah. Mm. It's just a great club, and it's a good vibe, so yep. I'll keep coming back if Scotty keeps having me. I think we can make sure that happens. <laughs> if he doesn't want you, let us know. We'll make sure we get you back. <laughs> oh, we love you guys being a part of the event as well. You know, it only just adds to the prestige, and he got 
you've got three-time champions like yourself, but then you've also got your, your mates who come with you that, that, that have done so much in the sport that are surely going to win one at some stage. Yeah. Um, Teasy's, you know, uh, done so much in the sport and, and we want to see him keep coming back as well. And Gaz has got his big chance today and he's got this guy on the mat now right in his way. So there'll be a new champion to this year, mate, for some reason. Yeah. No, it's always a classy field, so um, to make the finals, credit to both players. Absolutely. Played, well, from what I've seen, they've both played fantastic, all, all events. Uh, just noticed Gaz is changing the, changing the length up quite a bit here. Yeah, he is. I'm not yep. sure what length he's wanting to play, but he's played a bit of everything so far, just trying to settle in. I don't think he knew early. I think he, he, he tried long ends a little bit, and, and then Mitch sort of nailed a couple, and then Gaz went a little bit short, and you could see him... Just couldn't quite work it out. Um. As I was saying before with Harley, you've got to have about 48 different plans in this game, don't you? You can start yeah. with plan A, but you might get through to plan Z and still nothing works. Yeah, well, this morning against Gaz, I was, I was playing two different lengths. I was playing long one way and short the other way just because it was... It's a little bit different both directions, so yeah. I just I couldn't find it one way, so I thought I'd just change it up. But yeah, you would just got to adapt as, as quick as you can, I suppose. Something always changing. Great shot here by Mitchy side bottom. Yeah. Well played. Shot. Two good, good shots now. Harry just needs to correct his weight. Yeah, just draw away here, try and fatten the target a little bit. to hurry. Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay. Perfect. Might get him second. Is that a fat in the target or just still a bit of bit too much room there, Corey? Yeah, still too much room, I think. It's pretty good head sitting for Mitch at the moment. Three quarters of a bowl in front of Jack. Yeah. He's obviously asking now how far that bowl is in front of the Jack, just working out whether he plays his backhand or his forehand, I guess. He wouldn't want to turn Gary's bowl in. Is he playing forehand potentially under the front blue, do you think? Uh, not sure. I think we're going to try and around back to his own green one, I suppose. Kaz just coming for a look just to see what um, the situation is. He's just going to try and draw it off his own. The chance if he's uh, a little bit quick, he can land off the inside of his own for yep. shot. Yep. Have you caught much of the uh, broadcast so far, Corey? Have you, did you have a look at any highlights from your game yesterday morning against Caitlin? Nah, but I've known from previous years it's always been um, a fantastic broadcast. It's one phenomenal. Of the, one of the best going around. So yep. Unbelievable. I haven't heard anything bad about it, that's yep. for sure. Yep. All the commentary on the page has been how good it is. So we can't thank the team from Spacequake Sports enough for bringing this production to us. And I believe they're also going across to do the um, platinum pennants um, for you guys. Um, oh, nice, eh? So cannot wait. That will be good. Must be a touch high, is he? Or? Well, he's coming from there. He's trying very hard. Right, effort. Asking it to swing. One and a half a look, do you think? Hard to tell from the screen, I think but they um, said it's only one. Yeah. If it's only one and he's got a couple of couple of thirds, he might be looking to might go the two bowls here. We can afford to definitely be confident down the back end anyway. Yeah, so yeah, yep, 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 Jack. yep. that breeze in our microphones but yeah. it is definitely blowing up now so not not super super crazy but just you said before Corey gusty so yeah. he hasn't played that forehand we were looking at is he tight enough though to sit through the inside one of Gary's he he's looks like he's well. pretty close he's oh. Three, I, think. I think it's definitely two 
No, it is three. Three shots to Mitch Sidebottom. Eight, seven. Geez, that platinum pennant looks good. Yeah, can't wait for that. Um, some cracking, cracking teams in that, and mm. um, yeah, just I think it needed something, something new. So yeah, yeah really looking forward to it. Yep. Um, yeah, obviously next weekend is our first game, so we head up to Raymond Terrace, Barilla. Um, and yeah, that should be a good battle on their, their home surface. It's always tough to beat them. You don't get much rest, do you? Nah. No. No. <laughs> you must love it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> you want to rest sometimes? <laughs> yeah, you definitely need a rest. You can definitely um, definitely burn yourself out. So yep. it's just obviously trying to pick um, pick your tournaments here and there. Yep. And obviously the next couple of mon months is pretty hectic. But yeah. Um, yeah. It's definitely something that keep, keeps us coming back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Mitch is now the jack and Gary's just a couple of feet below where he'd like to be. Great start from Mitchie. Yeah, they're in play, aren't they? Jack's always on the move. You're playing this level of the sport. Gary needs at least two feet away. Looks to be in the higher line. Trying really hard. You might change over here and try and just tuck that jack around the corner, I think. Yeah. Spot on. Option B is land the bowl, I guess, yeah. Corey. Or yeah, just tickle jack. Confident full draw, but just pulled up short, I think. His weight wasn't too far away. No, it wasn't far. It's like a weight from Gary, I think. There you go, you're right. Forehand, not full blown weight, just enough to swing. Use the outside bowl. Stiff. Just didn't get the angle right. You can read when he's playing weight, can you? I can't read it. I can't read it with you, and I can't read it with him. <laughs> the hand just comes slightly up a little bit. More. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Yep. And your pendulum seems to, I don't know, you see very similar, and all of a sudden you're yeah. away. He's locking it. Get down to that jack. To get the jack all the way through? Oh, okay. That's it. What's Gaz got here? He's probably got two seconds. I think he's just a full draw. He would not want any jack movement, though. There's spot on. Backhand, full draw. Just again, playing that high line. Another one to Mitch side bottom, so it is nine to seven now. Just sort of still finding our way, aren't we? Yeah. It's a bit like your game this morning. It's about the level here where I think Gaz got a couple. Gaz got to thirteen, and then all of a sudden you went those six ends in a row. You got. You were talking before about how you would change the length yeah. of the end. You went. You went super short back towards the club. You went full length that way, and it worked really well. Yeah. And then games changed again. So. You're never, never safe in this no. this format, are you? Obviously, your first bowl is so important. A lot of, lot of the times, whether it's gone on first, he's won the end. So yeah, yeah. Just trying to nail that first one. So it's got to be the difference, I think, definitely. So Mitch is playing sort of a, yeah, short-ish. Yeah, probably sort yeah, of. 24. Yeah, middle-ish, I reckon. Yeah. Just giving Gaz some room with his first one. When's your flight home, mate? Tonight? Yeah, 7 p.m. Okay. So it was 8 p.m., but we snuck on them a little earlier. Early so flight? Yeah, get home a bit. About 11, I think. Good starter from Gaz up. Well played.
You gonna sleep in tomorrow? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> you got the four side coming up soon too, haven't you? Uh, yeah, Monday the 8th to the 11th. Okay, so yeah. week after next. Yeah. Yep, yep. So it's a big big couple of weeks. Really. Yeah. Obviously yep. got the three games, of, uh, two games of platinum into four side. Yep. Into three games of platinum. So yeah, it's yeah, okay. huge seven days. Yep. Harry Which Kelly has this for a shot. Brilliant. Back bowl six inches and then front bowl inside an inch so a bit of pressure on Mitch now to try and see what he can do it's a two down looks to be in a pretty good line I think Gary just try, try and draw to that I think as long as he's passed he doesn't want to be fat and target at all wouldn't want to give him a second bowl target would he be the last bowl cover and count Pretty close, Sydney. Made it pretty good. Look at that. He's hung on for three. Yep. Come for a look. Mitch's going to come for a look. Two and a measure from our the great man, Gary Benvenisti. Looks three from here, Corey, but very hard to tell from our angle. I think if it's three, I'd be definitely going at it. But yep. If it's only two, you might... I think Mitch can tell from six foot six high as to whether it's two or three. He's got a pretty good angle. The drone view. Gary's called three, so is it worth a look at this? He looks like he's only drawing on the back end, I think. So. One foot of weight correction. Yeah. Needs to clear the front. Jeez, his weight was good. Knock, sir. Maybe. Two. Bit of a free kick for Gaz in the forehand now to beat those two bowls. Yeah. His nose back in front. At least square things off, so we're looking at at least nine all. Gary with the bonus one in his hand now on its way. Just needs to run. He's very hard. Oh, he's done enough. He's done enough. Good shots. Well played. Jeez, his line was impeccable. Yeah, those four. Nailed the centre line yep. four times. Didn't build the target too much, did he? The three shots for Gary Kelly. So change of lead again. Ten nine now to to the big Irishman over Mitchy side bottom and. I need to mention our great sponsors, Coopers. I know you've had a couple of these uh, after the games <laughs> last couple of days, but they are a great partner of our club and a great partner of this event as well. So for those of you on the live stream sitting at home on the couch right now, I hope you're enjoying one. And for those inside the Adelaide Bowling Club or sitting outside now viewing this great final, uh, enjoy. Thank you for being with us. Big thanks to Coopers. Could not do this event without their support. Pretty hard getting the sponsorship these days, so yeah, they're always a huge help. These real, real these hard, mate. Absolutely, real hard. I think we're right now. You're right, mate. Yeah, yep. So Gaz just a foot through. Mitch seems undeterred so far. I loved him yesterday against Tyson Wilson. Just nothing seemed to phase him at all. Just plodded along. Played the big balls when he had to. Bit of a gust I reckon there, they got hit pretty hard, didn't it? Yeah. Just looking for a couple of feet away. Line's pretty good. Not a huge correction needed. I think 
again, that breeze is just coming across from the west hand well. side of the club and it's just pushing them all across. An opportunity here for Gaz to nail one here and put Mitchie under a bit of, a bit of pressure. Looks to be a better line. Yeah, looks you got good. the run, Corey. Got enough. Hasn't enough for now. <laughs> Hasn't turned the lights out yet though, still a foot and a half. He's got to come right back, back there, there. here it comes good. now. If it falls, it's close. Okay. Gets up to that. Should definitely be one. It's hard to tell from here that the back one was shot before, he may have actually got the shot, he may have even made two out of it. Just a little bit more of a roll needed, but Mitch will have a look. It's a good look all round, Gary sort of said measure, so... Gaz has given nothing away. Uh, didn't seem too happy with it, but I think he's had a good look. I think he's definitely got one. Body language. You read him pretty well, can you? Yeah, flat, flat enough, was <laughs> it now? Yeah. <laughs> hey, not, no big change. Beats his last bowl. Yeah, just trying to flop him off his last bit. Yep. Definitely. He's out in a good line. Just look to be a little bit over the weight. So, we'll have a look and see. A little confident Mitchie had shot before Gaz's last. Gaz made contact with his front bowl and may have made one, may have made two, who knows. A little bit of guesswork for now. <laughs> the one to Gary Kelly, so it's 11 9. So that was his. That was his last bowl, wasn't it? That, that middle one. Um, and he turned yeah, the one outside, yeah. yeah, okay, yep. I thought he might have given that one he turned up enough. So it's 11 9. Gaz is. Back to a shorty shins now. You want one more in, mate, or yeah, you want to yeah, want to jump in? Out. What? Give you one more, then we'll invite a special guest in to have a chat to us as well. <laughs> Gary's gone back to that length, Mitch. Yeah, he has. He has. Or he just nailed four. So. Yeah. Lost Mitch, have we? Yeah, pit stop, I think. Just gone for a quick. Um, so, platinum pennants into. Oh, hang on, mate. I'll do this first because this is very important. Chain of ponds. Um, you a red wine drinker? Drink red or white? Uh, a little bit of Shiraz, but okay. it wouldn't, be, wouldn't be the go to drink, but yeah. All right. Well, next time you're in town, we'll make sure we yeah. get one of these chain of ponds Shirazes for you. We'll have a couple of glasses together because they are a brilliant partner of our club, Adelaide Hills Winery. Um, some of the best wines going around. So we thank them for their support. So as you said before, 
sponsors are very hard to come by, mate. We cannot run these events and cannot do these live streams like we're doing today without these sort of partners. So we yeah. thank, thank Chain of Ponds along with uh, the rest of our partners. Yeah, nice glass of Shiraz never goes astray. Yeah, Cold winter's night. Medium rest day. Well, there we go. You're talking my language now. <laughs> nice 400 gram rump. <laughs> <laughs> So what's next for you? Platinum Penance, I guess, into Aussie Open at some stage in the in the winter months. Yeah, there's like um, from so now going on in there. to the end of June is pretty much fully packed. Choppers. Um, and then yeah, I've I've booked a holiday to Thailand for about 15 nights. Okay. So yeah, really looking forward to that. But yeah, there's a, a lot to look forward to coming up in bowls wise too. So beautiful. Yeah, pretty flat out. I hear Tease is going to Asia at some stage as well. Yeah, yeah. I think he might be going um, to Thailand too. Yeah, right. As a partner. So, yep. Yeah. Yep. Just get away for a while. Yeah, you, you need a little bit of a break. Yeah, yeah. A bit of a holiday. Not Without packing the bowls is, is always pretty good. It doesn't happen often. Do you ever unpack a bag? Do you ever sort of fully get uh, unpacked? Sometimes. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Back into it now. So, 11-9 to Gary Kelly. Pretty good one. Mitchie's just looking to respond now. Looks in a pretty good area. Yeah, good That's a great shot. Reply. And that's a brilliant shot. He's saying no jack. I think he said not the gap. Not the gap. I couldn't, I couldn't work out what he was saying, Corey. I'm glad you're yeah, here. 70% <laughs> of people do. It's Gary and uh, Jeremy like on the on the drink. I think the Irish twain's get a bit bit yeah. more fuller. Yeah, definitely mm. harder to understand after <laughs> after a couple. And Mitch is a bit stiff there. Yeah. He's got his bowl and sort of up the jack and the jack's got a good bit of roll through to Gazza's for shot. So he played it pretty well. Yeah, half a bowl either side. It was perfect, mm. really. Gaz looks to be, weight looks impeccable. Looks to be on a pretty good line here. Good shot. That's a great shot. And Mitch would be tempted to Go get that, I think. Forehand jackal balls. Yeah, either hand, just yeah. pretty firm, I'd say. Haven't really seen him run too much this this event. No, he had three early. He had two, probably the first, the second end, I think he did. He had a couple and didn't come out as smooth as he liked, but he did kill one end when he was down a few the end prior. Just arriving up through his bowl or under that front one of his. Oh, he's got a great result. That'll do. <laughs> one to Mitch side bottom. So he's got that angle perfectly. Yeah, it's a bit fortunate, but yeah. he's in somewhat in the area. If you believe in karma, he's probably stiff with his second one, yeah. so maybe that's that's the karma train coming back, but I mean that's very fortunate the angle absolute perfection what's Gaz looking at here now Corey yeah. sure we'll play the I just through his front one onto the shot bowl with potentially getting the jack halfway he's shaking his head Gaz he's not too impressed I don't think <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how much of, a, of that bowl he could see quick Is that his uh, not impressed face? Yeah, he's just not too happy to be felt that. He's mumbling. <laughs> you call it Corey, what's he got? He might just be swinging down bowl to bowl. Just over. Just 
touch hole, I think. Why not? Good effort. Oof. Mitchie might take this one. He put it in his pocket. Yeah, he's taken the one. So, a bit fortunate there with that third one. So, it is 11 10 now. Gary Kelly over, over Mitch side bottom. Corey, thank you again, mate, for your time. Sounds like yeah, uh, I've got you. another another guest coming in. Cheers, mate. Love Cheers. having you at yeah. the Masters. Uh, as I said, mate, three time champion, two time semi finalist. You love this place. We'll see you back again soon. Thanks for having us. Good Cheers, man. Mate. Good man. Crowd's been waiting for this man to jump on the microphone all weekend. We want to hear his dulcet tones. It is four-time Adelaide Masters champion, all-round good guy. Geez, you've worked hard this week. Scotty Tholborn, hello, mate. Thanks. Thanks for having me, Race. I've been itching to get on commentary this whole time, and you have not. You've been finally, you've been avoiding it like the plague. Finally made the list. <laughs> <laughs> you've been working so hard to get everyone else to jump on, just so you didn't have to be here. Uh, it could be accurate, but I can't confirm. You've worked, you worked pretty hard the last few days, so I don't blame you for wanting to put your feet up and relax. It's good bowls to watch too, but this is a pretty good spot to watch it. I agree, I agree. Happy with how the event's gone? Yes, uh, I think every year we seem to find ways to improve the running and organisation and um, sort of been treated this week on the live stream ranks with great games, closely contested. And um, yeah, I'm sure people viewing at home have been enjoying the stream. It's been four, four belter games so far, and <clears throat> this one's not showing any sign of giving up yet. So, no, I know. Um, I heard a bit of the commentary early, and uh, it was a big, big chance for Mitch. He would have been pretty nervous, but you know, I'm sure he would have had a goal to keep it close and stay in it early. And um, he's put himself in a good position here. Got a nice little early lead on Gaz just with a few ones and yep, um, just nothing seems to phase Mitch and he, you know, if he sprays a couple of bowls a meter or two away, we call them sprays, but you know, a meter or two away <laughs> seems pretty good. But when we're watching, we can <laughs> criticise. Um, but yeah, he just seems to always be able to get one in there and reduce. And he's he's really only had one loose end so far yeah, since he's been out there. So, agreed. Yep. Yep. Um, that's really good. But you know. There's a bit to come. I said, I said this morning, to. unflappable. His game against Tyson yesterday, he, he didn't seem to get phased too much. That's another example. I think for a shot. So I reckon that's perfect. So one down, two seconds, I would say. I think so. But probably looking at a draw, draw a toucher. You sent some frustration from Gaz the last end? Oh, Gaz gets frustrated a lot sometimes, <laughs> and quite easily. Um, and I think it's it's probably pretty well a combination of how how much this man plays bowls. Yeah, exactly. You know, when you think when you if you're playing bowls five, six days a week, um, you can't enjoy all the, the no. fun little sinks of the game. Indeed. Had a great shot there, so it's the shot back. Two we used to give him two red paddles, is that right? Maybe, yeah, possibly. Okay, yep. But Gaz's front one must actually be the shot. Yeah. Good pick up, Reese. And how you been enjoying the commentary, mate? Loving it, mate. Get to sit next to superstars like, like yourself and the who's who of Australian bowls and talk about our good sport for a while. Um, we, we are thankful for all our, all our players that have willingly jumped into commentary. The most unwilling was Corey, but um, it was nice to have him involved. He's always managed to get out of commentary, but that's usually because he's playing. I did mention it's pretty rare to have him sitting in the commentary box because <laughs> he's normally out there. So, yeah. I mean, hell, three Masters titles and two semi-final losses. He loves Adelaide. Yeah, it's, uh, I think it's probably that first year as well, his first event here, and he um, played well and got it done. He's yep. just going to come back confident every time. Yeah, exactly, so. yep, yep. I think he must, you know, his bank must look a bit low, and he's like, oh, it's all right, Easter's coming up. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get down the I'll go across and top it up. See what I can find. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So Gaz is really looking to just draw another one, urging it to turn a bit. You get a, it's coming hard there, that breeze is pushing things across. A couple of foot away. But Wait, pretty good end of bowls there by the boys. Yeah, agreed. Line's good. Look at that. Nah, it's been great, mate. And um, as I said, you've uh, busted your, your guts the last probably, well, not just the last week, probably the last two, three, four weeks to get this place ready. And you probably couldn't do it without your band of volunteers as well. Nah, I've got... Got a great bunch of boys. Um, you know, we sort of the, what we call the lead up to the Masters. Pretty well starts a month out mm. um, on the green side, and lots of planning and early starts, late finishes, and obviously we, you know, other bowls goes on. So we've got some some boys having a game tomorrow, and then Wednesday finals. So it doesn't stop immediately after the Masters, but um, yeah. Looking forward a to a bit, rest little, yet? A little bit more relaxing. Up mm, there, exactly. Yep. Yeah, a little bit of a rest. I've got, we, start, we start the Sydney Platinum Pennants. Ah, yes, on, you do. On the weekend. Yep, so yep. Sort of got four days of work and then duck off to Sydney with the Mount Lewis crew. Yep. And um, play some bowls against some absolutely gun players. The side listings is really strong this year. That should be good. And of course, our mate Tyson Wilson leaves the state tomorrow, heading across to. Matt Lewis as well? Yeah, it's moving away from SA, and I said, I'll see you Saturday, mate. <laughs> <laughs> but we had a farewell drink for him still. Oh, I imagine you would have. Coke, yep. Coke, no sugar. Okay, well played. Yep. Or a Cooper's, Cooper's and, Australian yeah. Lager. Yep. I had a Cooper's. Good start, man. She's got the speed. Sometimes if you're not going to hit centre line and be right on the jack, you better leave in about a foot gap. Exactly, mm. yep. Farmers leaving gates open. That's the one. Gaz is trying hard to sneak on up. Just that bit of breeze I've noticed coming this way, mate. There's been a couple of bowls pull up. Foot two feet short. Whether it's a roller wearing off or whether it's a bit of the breeze, I'm not too sure. But I just think they're not throwing it hard enough. It's probably pretty fair too. Yep, yep. <laughs> Everyone in the world is looking for excuses was, out there. I was being polite. Yeah. 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 Has he got on the jack? Yeah, it's a he good has. shot. Well played. Couple of goodies. Played. I don't think he'll drop short again here, Gaz. Sit or sit or trail here, real confident full draw. Wall to sit on. Two bowls. Looks looks in the area. Trying to get and down. Didn't want the gap. Did not want the gap. Could have second wood if it fell in. Could have second wood. It's funny how whenever someone says not the gap, it tends to go straight through the, the gap. gap. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep. It's like when they shout at the ball to hold, it never holds. <laughs> <laughs> Mitch is coming for a look. What's he What's he thinking about, Sully? Well, he's probably just uh, be struggling to see how far Gaz's uh, last ball's past the jack from down his end. So yep. I guess his decision is... But does he does he want to look to change hands and try and draw another county? He might have been a bit worried about trying to draw, playing the same hand and drawing a toucher for one down. But yep. I think his probably right shot is to stay there. He's just had two great weight. I think he'll just back himself to try and beat Gaz's last bowl on his backhand still. So even if he just slip past Gaz's next bowl it'll give him a bit of protection um, Gaz obviously could trail the jack for three and he's going to do just about that it's a really good spot there mate isn't it great house it's either sort of there or you know a foot shorter in front of it where yeah. both both had their, their positive sides so he does it looks like he's got on fourth wood as well so does Gaz. Gaz, does Gaz go the outside bowl and get them both and look for the kill? Scotty, there's a typical gap there between the two bowls. I think it might be a bit more tempting if his front one wasn't on the line. Yep. It would have given him a, another option look to at the jack, the jack yep. as well. Yep. I think we'll see Gaz play a similar bowl to his last. But I've been wrong many a times. True. Twice, I think. Uh, more than that. <laughs> uh, three times. <laughs> we get two this morning. <laughs> Yeah, one of them was kind of agreeing to yeah. come on and have a chat with you. <laughs> so Gary doesn't want the gap now, flops inside. Okay, so he's got second wood. He's got rid of the measure. Yep. He 
just casually strolling down the green, yeah. waving his arms around, right. pointing at the wind flags, yeah. telling them to stop moving. <laughs> <laughs> Oh He's just doing, doing his thing. Going to draw another, is he? Just steady, just plods along. That's Those a good safe. Ball's in. Shot. Ball's in. I don't think Mitch can plod along, though. At six foot six, you don't plod, do you? <laughs> definitely that's, stride. That's definitely has created a measure. Well, there's some love on the Facebook stream for you. I'm glad you joined me. For me? I've been telling you all, we all uh, weekend you had to join me. But, thanks, um, everyone. Maxie Kleining's giving me a little bit, but more more you at this stage, which is very well deserved. But, uh, young, fella called John, like young, young fella called John Green called you a, a, the great legend. Sounds like he knows what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he's, the, he's a great legend. Yeah, he's a legend, Creeny. I guess uh, the best thing about lawn bowls is uh, the people you meet, the friendships you make. Indeed. Um, there's just obviously a lot of people play the sport, and I don't know. I'm pretty. Seems that most of the good blokes and good ladies they tend to get stuck in the bowls. Yep. So. Yep. The two to Mitch side bottom, so the gap closes again. 13-12 now. Mitch, he's. But every shot he gets, he'll be build, building confidence and belief. Yeah, well, we were saying earlier, mate, his main main goal early was to just, just get off to a start and settle those nerves, and he did that well, and now he's just in a groove, and to be honest, this game could really go any way. Does it, we haven't looked like it being broken over, nah, open yet. No, so. no. Nah, nah. Well, pretty well halfway, exactly. Someone's halfway. What? To winning. Yeah, well, someone is, yeah. So what's next for you, Reese? You're gonna get in Foxtel commentary. <laughs> Basketball. You're gonna start working with Space Quake uh, streaming services. You're gonna full time give up your current job. I'm gonna go back to sitting at my desk at uh, at Coca-Cola and just enjoy myself for a while. This is. Um, I've heard that's what you do there. Yeah, yep. Sit there and enjoy yourself. Yeah. Look, it's very exhausting being around you <laughs> this much. So I need to get back and just relax for a while. So Mitchy. Was a foot short there, sort of in the draw line. Um, guys elected to stay. Run into him, but no, no harm done. I'd have really enjoyed it. So, um, don't get often to sit next to these Australian superstars and just talk about our sport for a while. So I'm actually looking forward to um, watching the streams back when I get a quiet day in the next couple of weeks. Um, and yeah, see the bowl, all the bowl, good bowls that I missed. Yeah, well, put it on mute so you're not hearing me, <laughs> and just watch the coverage because the team at Spacequake have done a fantastic job. The production that they're putting in front of us is second to none, and the comments have been coming through thick and fast about how good this stuff is. So it's a credit to Adelaide Bowling Club for for partnering up with the team, and well, geez, this just showcases our club and our sport so well, doesn't it? Absolutely, it's. Um it allows people that can't make it down um, the ability to catch it alive. Probably stops a few people from coming down that would have otherwise come down. <laughs> um, I spoke about so that. So let's pull the plug now, shall we, so they can yeah, get all coming to the club. They'll yep. jump in their cars and race down. Yeah, exactly. But I've spoke about that with um, Turles in the past with their Golden Nugget, one of the greatest of, one of the greatest singles events as well. Yep. Um, and used to get massive crowds there. Used to um, be full up all the time, but Sort of once live streaming came into it, it um, yeah, so I'm, I think we give up too good of a stream sometimes. Very chasing for what the jack in the well. Well, jack or bow, and he's found the hole. That uh, hopefully he doesn't think that's the wind's fault again. The flag's on this side, you can't. <laughs> but no, I don't mind that choice of shot selection there either for Gaz, because you can, you can try and draw a shot, and there's not a really clear path in there. Likely hit one of Mitchie's bowls, and that is a good shot, also. Is it a good shot though? Or does it give Gaz a two bowl, three bowl target now? Will he fly those two bowls? I think his, his last bowl is probably fourth wood as well, but I think Gaz will. Okay, two bowls, big Jack forehand. One. one. All square.
13 shots apiece. We're a long way from finishing this one, Thully. We are, mate, and I'm going to have got a couple of other little jobs to do. I'm going to try and oh, get, okay. our, <laughs> get our next guest here. <laughs> I'd love to. I'll, look, I'll try and get back on later. Uh, I've just been itching to get here. I can guarantee you won't. Uh, the, the list on your phone is, is long, so... Well, it's because I'm a selfless person, and okay. I, know, I know So how many, how many other people just really want to get up here and right. have a chat with you. The uh, stream's saying, keep the man on, get rid of Reese for a minute, so... Oh, so Reese and Teasy, they reckon. <laughs> no, Scotty and Teasy. I can't so. see why Teasy can't jump in for a second. No, no, can I go okay. for a quick break? No, you'll be right, mate. You know what's doing. You can see the screens. Oh, dear. But anyway, great job, Reese, And, um, yeah, from everyone uh, back home and watching, I um, hope you enjoy the stream and the coverage and uh, enjoy your afternoon. Thank you, mate. I'll let you go. 13 shots apiece. Mitch Sidebottom and Gary Kelly. The game is on a bit of a knife's edge right now. Aaron Tees uh, sits next to me. Hello, mate. Hello, mate. How are you going? Good thoughts so far? Oh, it's been a good game. Uh, both started off pretty good. Gary's sort of on song with his runners. 13 apiece. It's, uh, can't ask much more. I think if you were Mitch Sidebottom, you'd be pretty happy with this situation right now. Oh, absolutely. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. I think um, they've played each other once before, I think. At uh, blue opal singles in or blue diamond singles. Okay. At, uh, Broad Beach. Right. First round, I think Mitch just got him. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Yep. But it's got to give you some confidence, doesn't it? Yeah. That's right. Yep. We were saying earlier, and you know, yesterday morning when when you're out there, and, and there wasn't a great deal of breeze. Um, at all, but today's the day where the breeze is blowing up a little bit. Do you think it's impacting the players too much, or that is that good? It's not really going to matter. No, I don't think it'll matter too much. It's uh, the conditions have been pretty damn good the whole time we've been. Yeah, here. yep. Um, <coughs> yeah, there's a slight breeze every now and then, but it, I, I think they'll be, they'll be fine. They won't think about it too much. Gaz has got one at the moment, but I think Mitch is pretty close to shot there. I think, I think that one will get it. Yep. On <laughs> green paddle. He's trying hard to get back on a real good line. He's got enough weight. He's very close. I think so. One ball to Gary Kelly. Good shot. Urged it real hard to get up. He's following this one with a lot of interest. I think he likes it. Going off body language. Just needs to run a bit more. He's not going to quite make it. What Gaz do now, mate? Wouldn't uh, want to uh, touch the front one of Mitch's on the on the back end. Is it just a really generous draw out to his la out to that back one? Yeah, I'd, I wouldn't be surprised if he's holding if he just takes it. To be honest. Yep. Either that or yeah, just chuck it out on the back end if it doesn't come back. Bad luck. And as you say, with that little bit of breeze, you never know. You could chuck it on a high line, get a gust. Get a gust. And, uh, yep. Yep. What length will he play if he gets the gets the map back? He's sort of been to and fro a bit yeah. shorts and longs. Hasn't really found a niche that is good for him, but also... I think he'll probably just go like a three-quarter length, maybe. Yep. Matt's sort of about a metre and a half up from the tee, two metres from the tee, and just short of the tee, I reckon. His forehand. Yeah, well... Pretty close, too, to be fair. Dead draw again. I'll tell you what, he's close here. He ceases and falls in. He's asking it to fall. Geez, that's close. Yeah. Mighty effort. Well, definitely one. If it fell completely down, it was 
Definitely a, second. Offload. That is two already. That's a brilliant shot, Gary Kelly. Oh, I didn't see that. No, I didn't think he was no. turning that much. No, no. Outside, but it's a good shot. All right, so 15. Gary Kelly. 13 to Mitch side bottom, and Gaz is going back, so. He's going T to T. T to T. It's kind of not a bad length of like I found on this green, going back that direction. I didn't line the jack near the T because it, it pulls up nice and quick yeah, near, the, near the ditch. Yep. So yep. you could afford to sort of uh, give it that fraction extra. Yep. Yep. The last six feet, uh, last six feet is just yeah. a little bit furrier. Yeah, he likes to keep it that way. Oh, it's a better. And you're way right. You can play confident. Yeah, yeah. Nothing yep. worse than when they're bare as from the tee to yeah. the ditch and downhill, yep. and you just can't stop yep. on. Yep. Turning sideways. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. He's lucky. He's just kept the mat on the the jack on the jack on the green too. So he almost lost it. Now he's. Uh, Probably not a bad starter. Ditch the ditch. Weight's impeccable. He's trying to put Mitch off his game and trying to change things up, but Mitch is just not getting disturbed at all. No, he's pretty sort of calm. I love he? it. Not a bad start. Quality live stream this one, isn't it? It's unreal. Yeah, we can't, <coughs> we can't, you know, say much more. The, the, the camera angles and production and the slow mo replays. We hope, we hope the viewers at home are enjoying it. No, it's it, it's good, real good. Close. That is a good shot. Good shot. The production itself is so much better when superstars like yourself jump on the the microphone as well, mate. I'd rather be out there playing, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> well, I was saying to Corey before, it's pretty rare we get him to sit next to us. He's usually out there, so yeah. um, he's in a rare air. Gary just under. Yeah, it's a pretty good effort. I think, what's he been here? For? How many times has he been here now? Well, he, my record's got him at three wins and two semi final losses, but the Scotty was saying good, before his first win, he might have bowed out a little bit early, so. If it's been six years, he's made yeah, the final right. day five times in six years. Yeah, so it's not bad. Such a good singles player. His weight's always good, you know. Like he never really wastes many. Yep. So yep. He just always clutters ahead and makes it really hard to just beat him in yep. general. So Gary on the run now. Well, he's not playing full blown, but he likes it. Close to Jack here. Jack in the world. Shot. That's a big shot. A great shot. Crowd's giving him nothing. No. Absolutely nothing. It was a huge shot. Jack in the well, no bowl. Well, and this is where these ditches come in handy. You can draw that with confidence. If you feel like you're carrying an extra foot, yeah, no, you're pretty good. <laughs> He's on the on the line. He's not getting a lot of turn. No, but is it gonna stop? Should is it really stop up now already? Yep. That probably shot. Is that that white mark of the jack? I think so. Just where's that touch in the ditch? Yeah, I can oh, see it. It'll be hard to tell. Oh, you're right. The touch of there too. One green marker has up, which is Mitch. I think Mitch likes his own. Gary sort of not giving him a great deal. Always hard with the lip. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Yep. Umpire's cool. Straight the umpire's. umpire's cool. Straight in. Straight in. I love that. <laughs> Carrie sitting back saying, You want it, Mitch, you can measure it. <laughs> Let's get an umpire.
We haven't told Corey yet, but um, there's apparently a clause in the Masters conditions of play that if you win four Adelaide Masters, you actually have to play for our club. Ooh. So um, it's close. I mean, pinching him for the Pioneers, eh? <laughs> How's this for a view? We are right in there. It's easy. That's pretty cool. Look at this. Uh, the Jack as you were saying before, the lip's the issue, right? So for those at home that are a bit uninitiated, that, that measure there is going to be a little bit closer than what this one here is because we've got to get the end of the measure onto the Jack, but then get the string down the bank. So, geez, that's close. Well, look at that one green. Well, look at that. Yep, one green. So the the lip just adds a couple of extra mils to that measure, but one green it was. Great camera work there from the team. Fifteen fourteen to Gary Kelly now. First to twenty five. A long way to go. Still anyone's game. Which side bottom map? Pretty well right up to the tee. Give himself maybe three feet to the, the front. Ooh, that could be a little bit shy. Teasy. Oh, that's close. That's real close. Guys, it'd have to be looking at that, wouldn't he? You think so? Well, he doesn't look too fast. Mm. Yep. <laughs> he'd be happy with it. He's all right? Yeah, he'd be happy with that. Well, looking at the screen, oh, look. looking at the screen compared to what we're looking at from the mat end here, that's real close. He might be short, but look at that. Yeah. I mean, I thought you'd just let him play that because he uh, doesn't mind the short ends. Yeah, and he's got such a good runner. Yep. So yep. if I go short against Gary, it's normally Matt back and short. <laughs> it doesn't bother me if he keeps killing him. I think Mitchie and um, GK's steps are a bit bigger than our marker and Gary yeah. Benvenisti, <laughs> so it's a bit hard to work out yeah. who's doing what. It'll be one step for Mitch, <laughs> and be about eight yeah. steps for me. <laughs> uh, six foot six, the big man. Is he? Yeah, okay. six six. Yeah, I was talking to him earlier. And he stopped playing football last year. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, right. Yep, yep. Cousin of uh, Steel Sidebottom. You're a, oh, you're a, you're a, you're actually, a rugby, yeah. rugby man, but yep. you know the name. Yep. No, I do Collingwood, that. Collingwood veteran. So. Yes, my team are going no good. You are? I'm a bulldog. We have been average for years. Can Canterbury. 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 Yeah, Canterbury. Yeah, Canterbury. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Been average for a while now. Is there light at the end of the tunnel? Yeah, no, look, we've, we've bought well. Um, we've got a fair few good players there now. We just can't quite gel at the moment. They're yep. sort of all learning each other. Yep. So... Jack was short, so GK has just added a little bit extra length. I think too well, drastic a change. And Mitch has just gone, thanks for go. the length of end, yeah. Gary. I'm going to draw it. Front toucher. Brilliant. How often does that happen? Yeah, it's amazing, <laughs> isn't it? You put that extra pressure on yourself because you lose the jack. Yeah, exactly. Close. Oh, you're a cult man in the AFL, is that right? <laughs> Who was that? Paul Holtzke. Yeah, yeah. I was just about to say, that's... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll run with that. Okay. I don't mind the blue baggers. <laughs> Unless when they're playing port. Yeah, he told me at Dan Denong that that was who I had to start following, so... Done, Okay. Well, I'm all right. I've got Joey Clark and Twisty on the port bandwagon oh, after nice. after Saturday night. So I think they went and watched it, didn't they? They did. That's pretty they cool. Did. Yep. It was part of the um, part of the tickets that Damon Edmonds has said if you're going to take them to the game, make sure they get yeah, nice. become honorary port members. So Mitch has snaffled the jack with his first one, and Gary's just sort of trying to find it a little bit. We have an opportunity here for Mitch to sort of... You want to hope he gets this one past. Yep. He, he looks to be pretty good with his weight. Doesn't want to He's open it. He's always dead. Draw. Ooh, okay. That's pretty good. I think we'll see weight. Backhand. 
running. Nothing too silly. Super hard, high. Mate. Yeah. Oh, I reckon that's his that's his first weighted shot in the backhand today. Yeah. His, oh, his, his yeah. forehand's yeah. been phenomenal and, and yeah, he doesn't miss too many like flat chat draws. Yeah. 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 Pretty deadly. Yeah. yeah, that's a tricky weight there. So Mitch is going now. What's the option? I think he's got to go back, doesn't he? I would. You know, yep. you're, you're two, maybe three. But obviously Gary's best chance is yep. uh, the back stuff. He'll be trying to put that green ball through the jack. Yeah, I'd uh, just be getting best back. Let him try and play it. No use to uh, fattening that target anymore. Run for cover for now. You know how good Gaz is on the whack. Well, it doesn't look like it's going to be. It's not. It's not super back. It's not T, is it? But it's probably ah, going to be enough. Yeah. 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 Actually, not a bad option because potentially, depending on what weight Gaz plays, it could spit out to the side. Yeah, well, that's a good shot there. I think. I think we'll see Gary go big. There's only one real bad result. It's green solid for both your own. Backhand again. Let's play the hard way again. Yep. Wants it to turn. The line's a little better. It's coming yeah, down it's hard now, Teasy. Yeah. as is for a shot. Yeah. Oh, how it goes. And I mentioned earlier that one of Mitch's is there too, so wants to be a couple. Definitely one. Close for the second, but yep. I think it yeah, you might just lose the two, I think. Mark at Gary Bimbanist. He's got the two paddles ready to go. He's pretty <laughs> confident. He likes it. Two shots and I have a lead change. 16-15. Mm. It was a good shot. Couldn't though. have played it much better. No. What other option I'll was there, I really? I probably would have liked you to see him go a bit bigger. Yeah, but, okay. But, yep. I mean, look, you could have got that green solid and got both your own. Yeah, correct. Really looking at that. Yep, yep. That's the camera work. Hopefully there's no lip reading. <laughs> no, he's all right. <laughs> well, it's next year's production. We're going to play a microphone, so. Fantastic. The Mitchie side bottom 16 now. Gary Kelly 15. Looks like a pretty handy opener again. Do you start at some stage counting down in your head how many shots you got to go? Yeah, I think that's probably my biggest problem. <laughs> <laughs> I never used to. <laughs> now I do. I sort of uh, get excited when there's only like four or five yeah. to go. I just wonder if Mitch starts going single figures left, single yeah. figures left. Such a mental game, isn't it? It is. Like, I remember everyone used to say it's like singles is such a mental like, mental game, and I used to just think, mm, not really. Yeah. Like, I don't even think. But now, <laughs> I, I really... Think too much. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I really do. It was a lot easier when I was younger. I didn't think. Could be like... Um, Scotty Tholborn and just don't think. He's like the most casual dude. Uh. Yep. Well played, Mitch. So a couple there. Bit of pressure on Gaz at the moment. Still plenty of room. Sticking to that. running. He is too. What have we got? Just outside the Well, that was... I wouldn't have thought of that. I thought that would be a bit of room there for Gary, really. Is he looking for the inside of the front green yeah. one of Mitch's and get them both or potentially get his through both of them? I guess so, yeah. Oh, Mitch has dodged two bullets. So he looks to be in a good line again. The, yeah, it's a good shot. It's a real good shot here. It's bigger and better. Look at that for a shot. Oh, that's not bad. Now what's Gary got? I think he's nearly committed now. Yep. It's Big better, weight, better forehand. Weight. Love that weight. Yeah, see. There oh, you go. how's that? Don't miss too many of them. We'll get the replay on in a second. Capture that. Here we go now. So, Harry, big weight through his own bowl. Gets all three bowls and Mitch's then gets onto the jack as well. So, it's probably stiff he didn't get the ball one of the jack forward <laughs> after a little bit. 
He's lucky he didn't get any less of that jack. Yeah, just lost exactly. Mitch, his yep, yep. So probably Mitch with three feet to draw. He's one down. It doesn't look like he likes it. Well, it must be his weight then, because his line yeah. looks good. So is he runny? Yeah. Well, I think that's Gary's. Yep. Amazing, isn't it? Like, Mitch plays three solid bowls, and just with one bowl change, you're yep. looking like picking up a two. Yep. <laughs> that's what... Um, that's bowl. It's the weapon he's got, though, isn't it? I mean, oh, you see it, you see it's it so deadly, often. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. so deadly. The, the man's so good on the drive, but he can mm, just yep. pull that, that massive drive out. Just changes things. I'd be pretty confident, Gary, adding here. The free kick that's needed to win these big singles events. Take the bonus one while it's on offer. Oh, he's certainly not quick. Got the trot up. Is he asking it to go? I think he's good enough. Yeah, that's a good shot here. He's done enough. Shot. Okay, well played. <coughs> Measured for the second one, so definitely one with his last. Have a quick look. I think Gary's pretty confident. He had a bit of a, yeah, a well. smile on his face when he looked at the head, so I think he sort of felt like he had shot beforehand. Well, he doesn't do this very often, so... Not a measurer? No. Okay, right. Um, well, he's definitely got two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he'd be but pretty... Oh, but he hasn't. There you go. Well, not only did he have to measure, he didn't get it. <laughs> wow. One shot to Gary Kelly. We are 16 shots apiece. And once again, we need to thank our major sponsors, our great partners, Cooper's Brewery, um, SA Own, Australian Lager. She's a really good drop, as is the Mild Ale, the Pale Ale, the Sparkling. They're all good ones. Teasy. Don't find a bad one very often. No. Hopefully you found a couple last night in, in yeah. some way, shape or form. Yeah, a cheeky couple of couples. Good. I've got the SA economy in some <laughs> way, shape or form. All that breeze is getting up. Yeah, it's cool it's now. It is yeah, cool. Far yeah. out. I should have a look at the forecast a little bit too because uh, there is some rain coming. I don't think it's going to be here before this game finishes up, but... We haven't had much rain for about two and a half months, so we're probably due. Oh, really? Yeah, we're definitely due. Just looking at the radar now, it's just sort of sneaking across the York Peninsula, oh, yeah. so I think we'll be okay. It's probably an hour away, but it definitely has dropped a couple of degrees. Yeah, it's chilly. So, each side bottom, it's a good shot. That's 16 all. to be in pretty a pretty good area on the money. That's a good shot. Mitch backhand draw. Can just sit. Gary's bowl. Turn the jack around the corner. He's had pretty close. He's that got down. I'll take a water. Good shot. That, that westerly breeze in our face has just helped that bowl turn a little bit more. Our local man on the land, Simon Gita Johnson, reckons the rain's going south. So I hope he's right. Yeah. Me too. So Gaz back end looks to be on a real high line. Uh, not a bad home. All right. Who's holding shot, do we know? I think it was one Gary. All right. So what's Mitch playing here? He was trying to play on the tight line, I would assume, and try and sit that blue. 
tell you what. He likes it. He's extremely close. He's real close. That's nice a shot. good shot. Made three. Three okay. shots. And not much of a target either. And draw three down, Gary Kelly. Yeah, if I was slightly closer, I think we would have seen Luke, but I don't think he's there. No, it's not. Oh boy. It's a super big free kick for Mitch Sidebottom. He's got two and a half feet to draw for a full count of four and get himself to the twenty. Mm -hmm. Fist pump there on the replay for Mitch as well. A bit of emotion. First time I've seen a bit of emotion mm -hmm. from him, so yeah, he doesn't give much good away. to see. So on the mat now with two and a half feet to draw for four. Big, big end. Looks to be running a little bit, but it lands the ball. He's in the count. Yeah. And here it is. It's a full count of four. 20, Mitch Sidebottom, 16, mm. Gary Kelly. That's a huge that's end, isn't it? Yeah. It's a huge end. Mitch's first bowl's been really good these last few ends. You're right. Yep. Nailing it. Putting guys under a bit of pressure. Picture S Adelaide Bowling Club, Teasy. If you're in uh, South Australia, I'm sure your next function would be here as well. So we need to make sure that we get as many corporate functions here as possible. We love this place. So weddings and uh, engagement parties, Christmas, Christmas. Oh my God, it's crazy yeah. here at Christmas time. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I guess nice we're so club. we're so close to the city as well. So yeah, true. you know, come here for a, for an afternoon, Thursday, Friday afternoon, or Saturday, and um, a few bevies and a bit of bowls and some, some light tucker really and then at least you're so close to the CBD if you need to go yeah, out afterwards true. but um, yeah we, we love love our, our club and the setting we've got yeah it's a great setup. So give Aaron and the team a call to book your next function and I'd love to see you here so in the blink of an eye Mitchie Sidebottom is inside five Five shots away from Adelaide Masters title. He'd be thinking about it. Be, be, wouldn't be human if you weren't thinking no, about it. <laughs> but, uh, you meant Gary sort of never really goes away. No. Nope. He'll even find another gear and step it up now, knowing Gary how close he is. Grit his teeth and go, right, oh, here we go. So it's yeah. a shot. response you'd expect. on the back end now. Showing some confidence, Mitch. I like it. He's, he's really sort of... Body language is good. It is. Weight was good too. I don't yeah. mind that weight. Uh, yeah. Get to Little Gary's bowl, get the jack. Yeah, yeah. yep. GK was close is again. Helping. Good enough for two, I reckon. Well, this is this. We'll need to count back to Gary. Okay. I think he thinks it's just fractionally wide again by the look of him. Is his weight better, though? I don't think so. Well, it's going to be two. Okay. Two to Gary Kelly, so well, this would be a good way to bounce back after dropping yeah. a four. We talk about getting numbers and going. The most important thing after a big number is getting the next end. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, that four has just been close. Just two, I'd say.
Two to Gary. 2018, so... What's Gaz do now? I think you'll go T to T. This will give Mitch a little bit of confidence. He, uh, two in front and obviously having last bowl now. Yep. Bit of a hush over the club. 2018. Anyone's game still. Good start. Gary Kennedy looking for a big start. Just to nail the jack. Yeah. His first one. Not bad. Not bad at all. Pretty happy with that. Yeah. With a full length like we're looking at. Pretty keen to reply to. Mm. Not too bad. It was enough to force Gary on the other hand. Super impressed with that one, would he? No, but a bit of breeze there. Oh, no bad spot. Oi, 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 okay. So, um, Gary with one two? or two? One, is it? I don't know. Just looking to just drop a foot of weight from his last, sit inside his own. He wouldn't mind the jack either, Teasy. Yeah, it's a pretty good shot, there is. Yeah, well played. I think it's three. Yeah, it's three. Three shots, so big bowl in the context of the game for Mitch. He's going to come for a look. It's probably a good idea. Great bounce back from Gary. Dropping a four. Yeah, you're right. I mean, drops a four and then goes the two, goes full length and now holds, a three. Holds, holds three. You probably couldn't ask for more. Mitch, Pretty tidy head too. It is, isn't it? I'm just thinking, what's he got? Not a lot. I think forehand. Uh, I think forehand. You're just playing that similar weight, maybe just a fraction less. Yep. You might be able to turn enough to get the jack. Or yep. You know, yep. at least you got a chance there for inside your ball, get a result, yep. take one or two out. Yep. I think backhand's probably like get the maximum result, but there's not a lot of room for error. Mm -hmm. I'll be reaching up through the forehand and see what happens. Forehand. I think he needs to play just fractionally less weight than his last. Oh, he's gone quicker. Fair enough. Big weight on the forehand now. He's having a look. What's he got? He's close, Teasy. Oh, oh he's two shot. shots out. A good shot. Probably couldn't have asked for a better result there. I mean, no. that was a real tough head to get into, wasn't it? Very. He must have missed the jack by much. What if they show a replay? I can't imagine that missing the jack by a lot. That's a good hit. 
Very one to Gary hit. Kelly, 2019. We'll try and get a replay of that one in a second. I don't think it was by much. Ah. Here we go. So, through the front. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> He had the best back too. He did. He did. Well, Teasy, the revolving door of uh, special yeah. comments continues. Yeah. Mate, thank you. No we'd love uh, second Masters for you, isn't it? Yeah. We want to see you for a third one, so yeah. we look forward to seeing you back next Easter. I will. Thanks for helping out, and um, yeah, it's obviously great to have you guys around. And no dramas. Everyone on the streams enjoyed your uh, special comments as well, mate. So That's appreciate good. your help, and we'll see you again next no year. No worries. All right. Good man. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> Farewell, Aaron Tease, and fair chance... My next commentator might be here for the finish with five to go. We'll wait and see, but at 2019, uh, Mitch Sidebottom's way. My pleasure to welcome a man that's been out in this final session a few times before. Two-time runner-up. He's got to get one some stage soon. Nathan Pedersen. Hello, mate. How you going, Reese? All right. Yeah. Thank you. What a day to be at Adelaide Bowling Club, eh? Nice, Adelaide it? Masters. Nice. I'm happy. Close final. It's better than a... An outburst? Yeah, <laughs> well, exactly right. And, and Mitch Sidebottom's just gone bang. He is here to play. I love it. I love it. Uh, he's, um, he was real nervous this morning. Uh, not this morning, before this, before this game. He was really concerned. I said, mate, just just be, just be, enjoy yourself and, and enjoy the spectacle. And he has done, done himself. Oh, mate, he's, he's, held, his call, he's uh, held his call really well. Yep. Um, Three days of heat. Today's a little bit overcast, a little bit cold, a little bit windy. You know, change of scenery. It might be his day. Three hour, Ooh, that... three hour games yesterday. Two and a half hour games yesterday. He was on the green for about eight hours combined. So, geez, Gaz couldn't have missed by much there, could he? I reckon he kissed it just about. Not quite. So Mitch looking just to get a second one around the head. Doesn't need to change much. He's not far away. He's trying very hard. Wouldn't want to crack it out too far. Oh, oh okay. That's very nice. Gary Shot now just looking to forehand arrive, hit the bowl. Nath, Jack through the hole. It's hard to tell. He lines up the same every <laughs> he <does>. time. <laughs> he's definitely up. On the angle now, he looks to be under. He's only just going to miss. Oh, he got Back his bowl's own. gone. Okay, this is getting interesting now. It's getting deep. 25 shots up. That's all you need to get your name on the board. So, Mitch has got two to come. Holding two. Is he is he running for a bit of cover? Or is he looking just to beat that well, one of Gaz's? To be fair, it's, as long as this stays up, he's... He's put a useful bowl in. He sure has. Yeah. In play. It's going to ask the question now. I can't see Gaz running again, just due to having one bowl on the green. So, Gaz is two down. He has one bowl left to come. It has not got backward. And then he has one bowl on the head. What are you playing if you're Gary Kelly right now? Oh. Nathan Pedersen? He's he's basically just got to play that just over draw shot and and play a screamer to be honest. Yep. And watching Gary Kelly on BPL, he plays these he all does. the time. He does. <laughs> he plays these all the time. It's in the arsenal. It's on its way. He's he's reaching. That's what he has to do. Is he going to get back? Well, don't think it is. Body language says he doesn't like it. It's mm. high. Okay, so we've been talking all day, Nath, about free kicks, and this is another one now for, for Mitch. You know, he's holding two, no real danger at all. Positive draw to, Basically, to Gary's, yeah. yeah. And, you know, getting two or three here to get him to 22 or 23, it's yep. the last two or three are just going to get even harder. Absolutely. I very much doubt that, that Gaz is going to give him just free kicks to the rest of of the game, so this is huge. Yep, I agree, mate. This I is agree. absolutely massive. So, to get himself to 23-19 in your wildest dreams, what do you imagine where he is right now? On its way. 
Can't fault the line. It's all on the weight. Can't fault the line. Oh, my. Hard. He's played this fuck. He's played this good. Wow. That is a great shot. That is a brilliant shot. Mitch Sidebottom. Mitch Sidebottom only needs two more. Two more. 23-19. It's going through Mitch's head right now. Nathan? Uh, Jeez. I'd probably... He's probably just thinking, can he just repeat that last yep. end? Just yep. put... Be, be in front after the first two bowls. That's yep. probably the main thing. He wants to nail the jack this first one, doesn't he? Needs a nerve settler right now because I reckon his heart be racing a million miles an hour. Twenty-three nineteen, Mitch Sidebottom, twenty twenty-four, Adelaide Masters mm. on the line. Just a little bit shy. It was had the right direction. Yeah, line was good. And for Gaz, he's just got to get this mat back now. Just around, I think. Just wait. Mitch just taking a bit of extra time. Don't blame him one bit. He's gritted his teeth a bit there. Like he might be just under, but... The wind is pulling up with this. Okay. It's, it's not perfect, but it's shot. Mm, I agree. Well, the pressure on Gary now is the thing is Mitch Sidebottom holds game. Just about. But Gaz now looking just to... Looks pretty good. Correct that line. A little bit of jacket. He makes two. Be good. Wow, that's, that's a, a big result. Shot. That's a great shot. Okay. Doesn't that just change the whole end? Doesn't take much. From being behind. Comfy two. Yeah. Yep. 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 From being behind, and now Mitch is under all sorts. He's got a couple of bowls in the way now. He's got to just forget about them and play a yard more than what he did before. Yeah, he's got the bowls in the eye on both hands now, so he just needs to stick on that forehand. Body language says he likes it. But it doesn't, it needs to hold a long yeah, way here. Yeah. Tell you what. Oh, oh, okay. Just a bit narrow. Tell you what, now the heat. Was, was the he heat. playing to sit the bowl, do you think? Was he playing to sit the bowl or just just was hoping to get under that front one of his, which obviously definitely had to play. To play. He definitely had to reach, but yeah, just probably pinched his line just there. Yep. Gaz to really put the pressure on, and he has holding three. This is what, this is, if you ask Gary before the end what he'd want to do, it'd be holding three with Mitch's last ball. I agree, I agree. So, so Mitch's, Mitch's big shots have been his draw weapon today, mate. And, and to be honest, what's he got now? What are you, you're I Mitch think, side bottom, what are you I playing? Think, I think most people would try to draw, but would you just go for, would you go for a bit of glory? You get, know. you get one of Gazza's out, you've done not too bad. I think, he's, I think he's, he's going big. He's going for the jack or one of the bowls. This is this is what I'd nearly go for here. This, What's he got? I think he's and under, but he likes it. Oh, there you go. Okay. So he's he's got fortunate there. I think he's missed well under, but he's got a couple out. In his mind, he'd be going Yahoo, but <laughs> but it was a bit fortunate. <laughs> no, it's like the net court that's, in tennis. You're but, right. But I I'd nearly would have run the gauntlet there and done something similar, you know. <laughs> well, the shot was there. I would have played it. Oh, but, yes. I, but I got no brain, so... There you go. Oh, Gary. Okay. Just the no, one. Cat. One. And Mitch is walking down, probably inside going, thank you for I'll coming. And Gaz that. would be steaming. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Not showing it, but inside. No, no, no. He's, he's showing a little bit. There's a bit of yes. a shake of the head. Yep, yep. He's, I thought Gaz would All do right, something well, crazy now. And guess bring what? Them out Gaz up. is on 20. So you can ask for a, a better final. 20, 23. 
So he's going pretty well maximum length. Jack's up a little bit. Uh, Matt's up a little bit. I haven't seen not too much. length this game. I think they've both been pretty happy with a medium sort of length. So I think this is just slightly a bit different, at least for the last hour, I reckon. Gaz has tried the long end a few times, and, and Mitch, has, um, Mitch has come out on top. So I think... Gaz has been searching for that perfect length from the play most of the most of the match, and Mitch is, as I said, just so unflappable. Gaz is really close here. Yeah, he'd be happy with that. Yep. So, Mitch inside will be going. Two more shots. Two more shots. Hard not to think about it. Gary just going well. I'm only one big number away from being in side yeah, of the Gaz, chance. Gaz would just take, would love to just win this end, How's regardless this? of what he gets. Just mm. two ends in a row. Mitch side bottom. What's he done? He's done it again. You can really be positive going back to the club at Adelaide Bowling Club. Um, for people that have played here, um, it is very kind. It does. Uh, it's very thick down the end, so you can really afford to reach going back to the club. Yep. It's, um it's definitely not downhill. And this is just going under the head, but his weight's perfect. That's a good setup. He won't be unhappy with that. He's going to give himself options with his last two. Mitchie, does he does he nail another one and say, I'm holding holding game? Yeah, I think so, mate. I think so. He's got Gary's bowl to sit. He's got to keep his weight. He's been nice to get a little touch of here and just, just go, all right, guys, what do you got for me now? He looks to be in a pretty good spot. He's trying hard to swing home with that breeze against his back. He's one foot and he was good. Jeez, Nathan, you've jumped on board this stream and we've just cracked a thousand um, viewers online, so I don't know what you've done, but <laughs> welcome aboard. Tell you what. Gary Kelly. That's, uh, that's a brilliant shot. Boy, oh boy. Two and a measure. Two and a measure. Big ball. Big ball. Guts is it. In the belly. Bowl full. Couldn't have asked for anything better. Would have taken the jack, but geez, the bowl was the best result. Which side bottom now on the forehand. Two down. Look okay, at, look he's, the uh, he's basically jumped off the mat, so he, I'm pretty sure he likes this. Big it man. just needs to hold a touch. Whoa. Maybe he jumped off too early. It's not far off. Okay, this is uh, Gary Kelly's special here. Little toucher. Four. Four. toucher. I'm saying a tick for the line. It's all on the weight. Oh, wow. It's close. Gary Kelly, little touch, and it's a definite four. That's enough, I think. Wow. Gary Kelly, last two bowls. Brilliant. It was close for four, and I reckon, if anything, that's going to help him. So... We're definitely three down. We could be four down. Um, what, what's he playing, Nath? I mean, this 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 right now gets us within well, within reach. So big, big shot for Mitch side bottom now. It's basically anything through the head. Yep. Like he, he he if if he's four down, he can't do can't do anything wrong. Even if he takes one bowl out, he's going to cut be it worse down. off, can he, mate? So it's 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 it's, it's definitely just up and at it. Whatever way he wants, up and at it. He's, he's gone he's the draw the approach. He really wants us to run. He's not reached the head. Oh, he's, if anything, that may have got the third, got the fourth. So it might just be three to Gary, but he's having a look. Well, it's 23 all. Right now it's 23 all with a look for the fourth. Definitely those three. Jeez, hang on to your, hang on to your hats. Gary looking for for the fourth. What an end Gary's played. He's yeah. drawn too close yep. with his first. Gonna landed it out with his third. Gonna try and get Drew a, a touch of close up close up angle of this measure. Nath, let's see how good this camera angle is. There we go. Look at this. So that's that's Gary's there. We go to Mitchie's front if we can get the angle right. We're trying to see what we can do. Wow. Three. three. Three shots. Okay. 23 all. All right. So 23 apiece it is. This is 
what we wanted to see. How good is this? 23 all. Oh, you hey? can't. Brilliant. This is what you want. This Brilliant. is what you want. Brilliant. I love the story. Gary Kelly, Irish international, well bowls, gold medalist against the legend from Tally Garupna, Mitch Sidebottom, 400 people in the town. I'm glad you said that the bowling club we went yeah. from. <laughs> <laughs> So Tally Garupna, um, I was talking to Mitch before, he's a local lad. Um, they won their first pennant. Uh, they won the pennant this year. They beat Shepherd and um, Golf in the in the pennant final this year. Um, he loves the sport. He's just a ripping guy. I love this story. He's who's gonna who's gonna win this? He's just taking a couple of seconds behind the head here. I reckon he's really just taking this in. To be honest, whatever happens from here, they're both winners. I agree, mate. Know. I agree. Um, yeah, Jamie Dixon, you're right. Game on. <laughs> he's game on. Gary Kelly, BPL heavyweight. This is. He's been here many times. Um, it's going to be a big last couple of ends. Let's hope that it gets right down to the wire. Yeah, well, Let's hope for some good ends here. Only got three more to go at maximum. So, Mitchie looks very good here. Very good. He's got the jack. Oh. Every bowl now is feels like your last. I don't mind that weight. No, he had, had to give it a chance. Yeah, he had a couple of short ones on his last, so he's 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 made sure of it. Yep. Gary Kelly now. First one to jump on board. First one. Who's going to do it first? Kaz's okay, weight's pretty good. Yeah, you're not unhappy with it. It's just turned under the head, so he's... As much as it's a close bowl, Mitch has got the back one. He probably can afford to reach again. So, not far off. Okay, well, he's not holding, but he's set up. He's, he's set up the trap. That's The trap's there. So, so Gaz now looking to, to use that last bowl as his jack. Basically, yeah. uh, advantage Gary Kelly, but Mitch is definitely not out of it where he's put his first two. He's close here. Oh, where's the jack going to go when he finds oh, this? Oh, wow. Tell you what, it looks. To I be reckon that's even better for Gaz. Okay. Because he's still holding two, but there's there's n there's no target no, rule no now. Yep, like it. So Mitch has either got a dead draw or he's got to hope to run into a bear jack. Yep. So where Mitch. before there was a target. Yep. So not a bad result for Gary there. So I don't think Kelly, he, that. he holds two. So any touch of the jack here for Mitch side bottom is. Absolutely game changer. Body right language now. good for Mitch. Likes it. Big strides from the big man. It needs to run. Okay, hasn't found the weight. Gary Kelly holding game. Just a guess. I reckon Gaz would be thinking, I've got two. I don't need to put one near it. Yep. If I just beat those two green ones to the back, at least he saves game if Mitch goes to bear jack. So is he playing forehand still and potentially sitting one out wide? Is he? Yeah, I, I don't think he... I reckon he's playing a good metre around the back. If he gets backest, okay. he's going to... He's covering, he's covering uh, losing the game. He is, you're right. So the weights definitely cover weight. So, so he's not tight. No. So he needs to hang on the deck now. That's the most important bit. Jeez, it's close to falling in. Okay. Uh, there's the fairies last six feet. So, so that's that stops the uh, guts in the jack for two. Yep. All right. So scene set, Pedro. Um, plain and simple. Gary Kelly holding game. Um, Mitch side bottom one bowl to come. So just just the way the head's set up. To be fair, it's probably more realistic for Mitch to to be thinking just to get one here. Yep. Um, to try to play the jack is it's probably not. The the shot selection, but we'll see what he does here. Okay, so Gary Kelly holding a game. Mitch picks up the mat. He thinks his weight his weight's better. He's out there. This needs to come home like a tiger. Oh, it hasn't come home. That's Gary uh, Kelly is a 2024 <laughs> Masters champion. Oh, credit to Mitch Sidebottom.
boy, oh boy. What a game. How what a game. good was that of a final? 25-23. Absolutely brilliant. Gaz's um, third bowl just, yeah, you're just right. took took away yep. a target, held two and just made it made it really hard for Mitch. He had to be absolutely uh, perfect absolutely. there. Absolutely. Okay. I think uh, I think there's gonna be a bit of uh, Post-game interview with Gary Kelly, the 2024 Adelaide Masters champ, with uh, four-time uh, four-time Adelaide Masters winner Scotty T. Corey Wedlock giving him a hug. There's a bit of saving going on there, I reckon. All right, we got Reese and Gary Kelly. Thanks, Pedro. We're here with uh, 2024. Adelaide Masters champion Gary Kelly. How's the breathing, mate? Congratulations. Yeah, and no, oh, what, what a roller coaster that game was there. Yeah, just nip and tuck, and yeah, what a challenge. And oh, congratulations to Mitch getting to the final. It's a fantastic achievement. Um, oh, look, this is pretty special. This one, um, you know, it's, it's a, an event that, that I really look forward to. And, uh, you know, I can't thank uh, Adelaide Bowling Club enough and that there for allowing me the opportunity to come here and participate in it. So, yeah, it's pretty special to get this one. Mate, the game was just to and fro. Um, Mitchy settled probably better early. Um, you just hung tight. There was chances there, a bit late where I thought maybe you might have um, might have closed the closed the deal. But you just you held on and held on and you gritted your teeth and geez, you fought hard. That's a hard win. Yeah, yeah, and no, it was an absolute battle. Oh, truth, I think Mitch was probably the more consistent player in the final. Being honest. Um, but you know, it is about just playing them a few big ones at the right time when it really matters. And thank for. I was able to just produce a few at the right time and give myself an opportunity to get the win. Gary, congratulations. Our 2024 um, Adelaide Master Champion, your first one. Um, it's a good feeling. It is one of the most prestigious singles events um, in the country. Um, anyone you want to thank or say anything to before we let you go? No, obviously just thanks to Rilla for allowing me the opportunity over to travel over here as well and, and participate. Um, yeah, just obviously thanks. I thank a few friends and family and stuff uh, watching back home, my partner and stuff. So, yeah, thanks to all them for all their support. It really, truly does mean a lot to me. Thank you. Brilliant, Gaz. Um, what, a, what a worthy champion. And um, we can't think of a better way to end our live stream than by congratulating Gary Kelly, our 2024 Adelaide Masters champion. Congrats, Gaz. Cheers. Thank you.